RUTC DG exit exam questions. Question number one. Any steering gear alarm can be successfully acknowledged from options are the bridge, the engine control room, the steering compartment and the ship's office. The right answer is the bridge. Question number two. Appointment of a designated person ashore DPA is a requirement under which of the following instruments? The options are STCW code, ISPS code, MARPOL 7378 and ISM code. The right answer is ISM code. Question number three. The SCR prototype, selective catalytic reduction prototype, achieved and dash percentage reduction of NOx emissions over the same engine without SCR. The options are 78%, 80%, 85%, 90%. The right answer is 90%. Question number 4. What is the injection viscosity of the fuel at the nozzle? Options are 30 to 40 centistokes, 15 to 20 centistokes, 20 to 30 centistokes, above 40 centistokes. The right answer is 15 to 20 centistokes. Question number 5. Where do you find the minimum drill requirements? The options are in the SOLAS convention, in the owner's instruction, in the classification society rules, in the manager's instruction. The right answer is the SOLAS convention. Question number 6. Which of the following identification particulars of a ship will never change of owners or flag? The options are name of the ship, official number of the ship, IMO identification number and call sign. The right answer is IMO identification number. Question number 7. What is the maximum H2S, hydrogen sulfide in the bunker sample? The options are 0.5 mg per kg, 1.5 mg per kg, 3.5 mg per kg and 2.0 mg per kg. The right answer is 2.0 mg per kg. Question number 8. An alarm signal consists of seven short blasts followed by one prolonged blast is sounded by the ship's whistle and alarm bells. What are you to do? The options are go to your cabin and await further orders, go to the fire station, report to the bridge or engine room for further orders, Go to the master station in basic PPE and life jacket. Wait for the further orders. The right answer is uh, go to the master station in basic PPE and life jacket and wait for the further orders. Question number 9. A chemical compound that prevents caking in DCP, dry chemical powder type fire extinguishers is options uh, sodium sterate, sodium bicarbonate, magnesium sterate and magnesium bicarbonate. The right answer is magnesium sterate. Question number 10. When refueling, the following precautions should be observed. Options are only refill tanks which are less than the quarter full. Mooring lines must be tightened up. Vessel should be listed away from the jetty. No smoking during refueling. So the right answer is no smoking during refueling. Question number 11. High fog system for roll-on roll-off ship. Effective average water distribution height not exceeding 2.5 meter. The options are 2.5 liters per meter square, 3.0 liters per meter square, 3.5 liters per meter square and 5 liters per meter square. The right option, right answer is 5 liters per meter square in a minute. Question number 12. As per the new regulation 8 bar 1.2 STCW, administration must establish preventing alcohol abuse. A limit is set not exceeding. Options are 0.05% blood alcohol, 0.3 mg per liter in the breath, 0.1% blood alcohol, 0.5 mg per liter in the breath. The right answer is 
0.05 percentage blood alcohol. Question number 13. What are the additional requirements on tankers for firefighting? The options are fixed firefighting system, deluge system, sprinkler system on lifeboats, emergency towing arrangement. The right answer is the sprinkler systems on the lifeboats. Question number 14. Shaft tunnel requires. The options are drain, escape trunk, water tight door, all of the above. So the right answer is all of the above. Question number 15. A fire started by spontaneous combustion can be expected in options or oily racks or stained clothing incorrectly stored, clothing stored in contact with an electric light globe, fats and oils on the galley store, paint, varnish and cleaning material stored in the bosun's locker. The right answer is spontaneous combustions are expected in oily racks or stained clothing incorrectly stored. That means the oily racks kept in a open container. Question number 16. At a distance of more than dash away from land, it will be the responsibility of the country under whose flag each vessel registered to enforce the sulfur cap. The options are 100 nautical miles, 150 nautical miles, 200 nautical miles and 250 nautical miles. The right answer is 200 nautical miles. Question number 17. Dash is the maximum deviation of any calibration point obtained for either increasing or decreasing input from the best fit straight line having overall minimum deviation. The options are linearity, rise time, span and none of the mentioned. The right answer is span. Question number 18. Dash on port state control adopted the principle of new inspection regime NIR in May 2009 during its uh, 42nd committee meeting. Options are Paris MOU, Indian Ocean MOU, Mediterranean MOU, Black Sea MOU. The right answer is Paris MOU. So which makes uh, the ships visiting their ports uh, should have the ship profile. Okay, So that depending upon the condition of the ship, the ship can be inspected. Question number 19. What is the material of impeller of a turbocharger compressor? Options are water, stainless steel, mild steel, aluminium silicon, bronze. The right option is aluminium silicon. Question number 20. At what interval retention quantities to be entered in oil record book? Options are fortnightly, weekly, daily. The right answer is weekly. Question number 21. What information can you find on the fire control plan? Options are wherever the master can be reached in case of emergency. How to use the firefighting appliances correctly. How to respond in case of fire. The location of the firefighting appliances. So the right answer is, of course, the location of the firefighting appliances. Question number 22. To extinguish a fire in a ship pan in the galley, you would, options are, use the fire hose, throw water over it, use the fire blanket, allow it to burn, burn out on its own. The right answer is, for the galley fire, that is class F fire and all, you cannot uh, do the other things. So, use only the fire blanket. Question number 23. Instructions for onboard maintenance of life-saving appliances shall be easily understood and illustrated wherever possible. Which of the following items do not necessarily have to be included in the instructions according to the present regulations? The options are list of replaceable parts, schedule for periodic maintenance, log for records of inspection and maintenance, checklist 
for periodic inspection? So the correct answer is the list of replaceable parts, that is spare parts list, that is not required to be in the LSA, LSA or FFA manual. Question number 24. Among the amendments adopted in STCW Manila conventions were new requirements relating to training in modern technology such as electronic charts and information system. It is new training and certification required for electrotechnical officer, updating of competence requirement for personnel serving on board all types of tankers, including new requirements for personnel serving on liquefied gas tankers, all of the above. So the right answer is all of the above. Question number 25. As per the load line convention, the dash exemption may be considered for the sister vessel provided the light ship particular based on a light ship survey by the recognized organization is within the limits prescribed in the intact stability code 2008 as amended. The options are inclining test, zigzag maneuver, pull-out maneuver, turning circle test. And the right answer is inclining test. Question number 26. The algebraic difference between the indicated or observed value and the true value of the measured is? The options are range, overshoot, error, none of the mentioned. The correct answer is error. Question number 27. What statement about immersion suits is true? Immersion suit should be worn while performing routine work on deck. No stowage container for immersion suits may be capable of being locked. During the annual maintenance, the front zipper should be lubricated using the light machine oil or mineral oil. Any tear or leak will render the suit unserviceable and it must be replaced. The right answer is any tear or leak will render the suit unserviceable and it must be replaced. Question number 28. The minimum number of rocket parachutes flares required to be carried on board is 12, 10, 14 or 6. The right answer is 12 rocket parachutes. Question number 29. The exhaust grouping is required in case of dash turbocharging in order to dash. The options are constant pressure, comma, prevents shockwave generation, pulse pressure, comma, prevents interference with the scavenging of other cylinders, constant pressure, comma, prevents interference with the scavenging of other cylinders, and the last option is pulse pressure, comma, prevents shockwave generation. The right answer is pulse pressure prevents interference with the scavenging of other cylinders. Question number 30. At what interval four-stroke engine cranking rod bolts are renewed? The answers are above 50,000 hours when the bolts are showing maximum allowable elongation, above 25,000 hours and the last option is when the bolts are broken down or sheared. The correct answer is when the bowls are showing maximum allowable elongation.